Welcome to the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday Night Racing Series 2, Race 3. I'm Ashley Love from T2P TV, and it feels like it's been a hot minute since I've seen you guys. I want to give a shout out to Dave Gendel. Thank you so much for covering in my absence while I was away in Europe. You know, in Norway they said I brought the heat, and in Ireland they said I brought the sun. I tried to bring you all some wind this evening, so we'll see how that goes. We have some new people at the top of the leaderboard. Mike Beasley, Rattle and Rum is leading Perk 1 with two bullets. Gisela Shaughnessy's Swiss Miss of Bavaria Far 230 is leading Perk 2 with two bullets. And Rob Lundell's Ragdoll in the J30s also with two bullets. We've got a downwind start this evening, so it should be interesting. There are many ways to approach a downhill start, including coming up to it upwind. Bar 30 starting soon. J105s are next, and boats that are late to the line need to set earlier to make it. A lot of yelling and noise. Wow, pin end was very favored, but also crowded, so you gotta pick your battle. There's still a lot of yapping going on down here. <laughs> well, yeah, with those ASIM kites, they need a lot bigger of a lane to be able to hold their position. J80s have their own private personal start. Breeze going even farther left, making it imperative to start down here. Lawyers, guns, and money needs a few more sailors on board. <laughs> side we got a restart coming Susie Q is a little bit early forcing other boats up Puff at the last minute makes everyone a little bit early. Ragdoll, our class leader, looking good, starting away from all that mess. Looking nice and fast. Cannonball is just taking their lured advantage and saying, hey, we're gonna wait till we put the spinnaker up.
Moving to the inner course, the Hair Shop 12.5s are on their way back in with Peter King's Emma Lou in the lead. And joining up with the 20 boat strong Harbor 20s, we have Puffin. Nope, 311. That's Skimmer, Peter Trogdon in third. In second place, George Hughes and Bell Cardi's Puffin. And dominating this race is Jim and Rachel Mead in Meteor. That will surely break the tie between them and Garth Hitchens on Sugar for first place overall. Back on the outer course, Perf Zero is making their final tacks into the Nun. Next up are the 105s coming in. Cedric Lewis's Mirage has the lead, but only by her nose over Jim Koningsberg in a go. They seem to think it's gonna be deep enough for a spinnaker. They're the only ones doing it. Is that gonna work? Uh, if they can ring the bell. Too much, it's too difficult though with that much pressure on. That much breeze, Ash. Yeah, it's coming in hard down the Severn River, a little puffy out here. Velocity up top, getting those velocity shifts puffs yeah. even sooner. We got the velocity not. Yeah, I, we've got a furl, oh, there, a there furling gone wrong. <laughs> Time to get rid of it. Rival will take line honors from Per Zero, but our story is back here with the J111s, Dark Horse and Slush Bun, one with a full kite and one with a code zero. Which one's gonna work out? Da, 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 da. I think I have a sneak suspicion that they bear off up here. Actually, what do you think? Yeah, they're gonna have a little bear off down to the finish line, which put the favor back in Dark Horse. Duck underneath there, Ed? I don't know. When you have less sail area up, you need you need the full kite going it's low. Got, it's a fake. It's just a fake. We had a true downwind and a true upwind, and really nothing tops spinnakers in the mooring field. Lots of jigging and jogging, deciding the way through the maze. Endorphin, a Melgis 32 has entered the Perf Zero game, but they do have a faster rating. They're supposed to be crushing the 111s. Not tonight. Not tonight. 
but actually the J30, J105 racing is awfully tight right to the finish line. Yes, Crash actually took a little higher road through the mooring field and he was able to pass Tenacious. Yeah, but that's not over yet. Well, I guess it is. Yeah, once that kite collapses in this amount of breeze, you're toast. Spread some butter on that. Squeeze down. Dark Horse currently sitting in fifth place for Per Zero as a seven point deficit, but will take a bullet, well, once the scoring is sorted out. Well, the good news is they took lots of people along for Wednesday night. <laughs> they did. They, they did. have plenty of people to get all that, that spinnaker down. All of the fleets of race committee does it right, and about the same time, the Hairshop 12 and a half is coming in with a big lead change. Cindy Weber, who's leading the fleet, winning the race. Emma Lou, our leader from the four, nowhere to be seen. Who that? Well, we had those three weeks off for holiday and poor weather, but if we can have one of these every three weeks, oh, that makes it all worth it. Thank you so much for joining me from behind the camera. Our producer, Bruce, producer Bruce Nairn, Boatyard Bar and Grill, the Annapolis Yacht Club. For T2P TV, I'm Ashley Love. We'll see you next week.